In this video, ATtiny85 module is programmed to display data on OLED screen, which is interfaced with the microcontroller using I2C connection. The module used in this uh, video is based on the Tiny85 8-bit microcontroller, which runs at 16.5 MHz. The Tiny85 microcontroller has 8 kilobytes of flash memory. 6 kilobytes are available for the user. It also has 512 bytes of EEPROM and 512 bytes of RAM. The controller has 6 digital I.O. lines, 3 of which can be PWM lines. It also has 4 analog inputs based on a 10-bit ATD converter. The controller supports uh, I2C and SPI communications and it supports interrupts in the form of external interrupt 0 and 6 pin change interrupts. Finally, the controller has two 8-bit timers. A circuit diagram of the interface is shown here. The 0.96 inch OLED display is interfaced with the module through the I2C lines where the serial clock is connected to P2 and the serial data is connected to port P0. We also have a push button connected to digital pin D1 and an LED connected to digital pin D4. The circuit operation is as follows. The OLED screen will display a count value starting from 0. Every time we press the push button, the count value is incremented by 1. At even counts, the LED will be blinking and at odd counts it will be off. And now for a quick demonstration. We can program the ATtiny85 module using the Arduino IDE. But first we need to add the module board into the uh, Arduino IDE. And to do that we go to File, Preferences, and here we need to add this link. The next step is to download a driver for the module so that Windows can recognize the module as a USB device. Let's have a look at the sketch used in this project. We need to include this library by DigiSpark so that we can uh, access the OLED display and this library so that we can use the I2C connection. Inside the setup function we initialize the OLED display then we clear the display and then we set the font size of the uh, text to be displayed and the cursor position and then we display the text ATtiny85. Inside the loop function, we first check the status of the push button. If it's pressed, then we update the counter by 1, and the initial value of the counter is 0. And then we check if the counter value is an even value, then we toggle the LED. If the counter value is odd, then we turn off the LED. And here we display the counter value on the OLED screen. In my next video, I will interface the ATtiny85 module with 4-digit MAC7219.metrics module. Thank you for watching.